and I, I think it has a lot to do with 9-11, with what they saw growing up and what happened with the country, how it changed at that point. I think that has a lot to do with his decision now. I was just in first grade and I just remember thinking, you know, how, how could such horrible people do such a horrible act? And that was something that stuck with me. So I think ever since that point, I knew I wanted to serve. I just never knew how to. Yeah, it was tough at first. At first when he came home and said uh, he signed up for the Marines, my pro I said, what do you mean? And once he explained it to me, you know, I, he's ready. I, I, he was confident. He knew what he was doing. And, and I was okay with it. It's just every parent has that fear. Uh, Eric's a man of action and, and he inspires others through his own work ethic, how hard he works. And even as a captain, he's blossomed uh, in these last two years as a junior and now as a senior captain, just with, with his voice. And you know, he has the team's respect, trust. Certainly he has the staffs as well. Um, and he's just a great leader and a, such a natural fit for, for the Marine Corps with everything he, he brings to the table. So when he came back from uh, his officer school this past summer, um, I really just talked with him. I think that his mental toughness is where he gets it from his military background, and this summer really helped him with that so he can push himself to the limits without breaking down and kind of leading the team. I think the biggest thing was the confidence. Um, you know, I thought I was pretty confident before going to OCS. They break you down to build you back up, and you know, you don't really understand that until you actually go through it. It's probably one of the hardest things I've ever gone through. They always say, you know, it really changes you and while you're there you don't really notice that much but after coming out of it um, I really notice a big difference. The demands of being a Division One athlete, um, doing the um, all of the Marine Corps stuff that he's had to go through while being a college student and a Division One athlete certainly has been tough on him but uh, he's handled it very well and, and made it almost seamless because uh, of who he is. The team alone, they have such a bond and I think he will continue that with the men that he works with. I give Coach a lot of credit because he's kept them together and they've worked together and they, the four years being here and being on the lacrosse team will help them a lot. They're evaluating you but they also are teaching you how to lead. It really was a, a great experience to, to to better myself in becoming a leader. You know, I was able to relate back to, you know, when we had a hard game and I needed to step up, you know, it's, it's relatable. What does it mean to lead, um, to inspire others down a certain path, to take charge or command? That's who Eric is and, and that's who he has been since day one of our program. Every day I practice, his mental toughness comes out. Um, he's always one of the leaders in whatever we're doing, uh, conditioning, uh, just regular lacrosse or just being a leader and speaking out about things that we need to do better. Um, we were in a workout um, on September 11th and then he stopped practice, addressed the team and um, he led a moment of silence for the team for those who lost their lives with 9-11 and followed that up with a reminder about how fortunate we are to play, coach, um, you know, be student athletes here at Monmouth and, and play a game that we love. He's a humble individual to begin with, but also one who's very grateful for what he does have. We're just very proud of, of everything he's accomplished so far. And I know once he goes there, he'll take it to the next level. I felt like I haven't done anything yet. So what I'm looking forward to is actually doing it, actually serving and, and being a part of the Marine Corps and, and serving this country. So that's, that's my biggest thing that I'm looking forward to.